Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to take you through the what and how of brand vision, mission and purpose, and then show you how you can use what you have created to make your brand work better for you. Over to you, future me. That'll make a little bit more sense later on. We're going to take you through a number of key branding processes that without them will reduce a brand down to a superficial logo. During the initial phase of a branding project, there is a body of work known as the discovery phase. This phase is an opportunity for the business to share where they have been, where they are currently, and their goals for the future. The discovery phase can often take many months to work through. As current and past customers are contacted to ask them about their understanding of the brand and their opinions of that brand, market research is conducted to understand how the brand and the company fits against other competitors within the marketplace. Suppliers are contacted to understand their experience of the brand. The company's accreditations are audited and examined. Staff are interviewed and the current brand outputs are all audited as well. All of these findings are brought together through a mapping phase. This is the first block of work where we as an agency can add value. It's here that we begin to identify insights and patterns. These insights can come in the form of quotes from interviewees to photos of brand audits and brand outputs to data sets, to brand positioning. These findings are all curated to inform the brand strategy, which includes the vision, mission, and purpose. So why are vision, mission, and purpose important? Well, we would probably say that these three statements are key to a successful brand. In our eyes, these three statements are almost the contract the brand is making with itself. They are statements that they are holding themselves accountable. And from this work, they also help inform values in context, brand promise, and brand personality, as well as positioning. So let's talk about vision. Vision is about what you want to do in the future. It is the why you believe as a brand you should exist. For those companies with a truly societal vision, a successful attainment of that vision might actually put them out of business. An example of this might be a homeless charity, where their vision might be to imagine a world without homelessness. If their vision was successful, then homelessness would be eradicated and they would no longer be needed. So visions have to be, as NASA would say, a BHAG, or a big, hairy, audacious goal. Think big, and then maybe go bigger again. The mission statement is a bit more nuts and bolts. It should make the brand accountable by concentrating on what you do, how you do it, and most importantly, identifies the offer to the customer. A good example of a mission statement comes from the BBC, which is to enrich people's lives with programs and services to inform, educate, and entertain. So we have the what they do as being inform, educate, and entertain. The how is through programs and services, and the customer offer is the enrichment of their lives. So the vision and mission are all about the brand itself. Purpose is where we bring in the customer. And here we want to start thinking about the value that the brand's services or products provide provide its customer. One of the most empowering brand purpose statements is that of Patagonia. Hopefully this will influence a new form of capitalism that doesn't end up with a few rich people and a bunch of poor people. We are going to give away the maximum amount of money to people who are actively working on saving the planet. Body form is similar, where theirs is help create the conditions for women to live the life they want by breaking period taboos. Here you should be able to see from the examples we've provided how these statements can affect how a company operates. We mentioned earlier in the video that we would show how you can use what you have created to make your brand work better for you. Thanks, past me. So vision, mission, and purpose are all promises in a way. We believe that these statements have to be more than words and have to be backed up with mechanisms to make them possible. They have to be meaningful, and most importantly, they have to be measurable. And it will be your customer that decides whether your measurements are up to the standards and values that they believe and adhere to. Measurable means we need and want to explore the claims of the brand. If we were to take Nike's vision and mission statements, for example, do everything possible to expand human potential and to bring innovation and inspiration to every athlete in the world, asterisk. If you have a body, then you're an athlete. So I think it's really easy and simple to start thinking about if this vision and mission are present in the brand's products and services 
and advertising for that matter. Let's take the, if you have a body, then you're an athlete. Well, let's look at their advertising. Do we see all body types represented? And their products and services, do they cater for all body types? So if we find that claims can't be backed up, then we have to push back and challenge these claims. If we move to innovation, this could be taken in many forms. So have they won awards for design and development? Do their innovations help the world we live in? Do they allow for more people to become athletes? In your mind, are they doing everything possible to expand human potential? We could also see if they have set up ways of measuring these claims. And again, as I mentioned before, it'll be the customer who decides as to whether these levels are acceptable to them and then for them to associate with that brand by buying their products or services. I hope you have found this interesting and informative. Do consider subscribing. We try and post a video every week covering thoughts around design, design thinking and digital. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.